Okay, I'm going to do another humidity bottle check off thing. <clears throat> I'm going to do a trick this time. Trick, color mask. Okay, so here we go. Got our stuff. Um, bottles over there, and the trick mask is there, and there's tubes, and there's the patient. Um, we're going to name him. That's uh, Abdul, and he has um, choked on something, and they, he can't breathe, and he almost died, and he's got a trick. Okay, so um, now we're going to give him some humidity and some oxygen. So he... First thing you do is up your bottle. Oh, here we go. So we're going to take that off <clears throat> and set this thing up again, which you can see. Fit. All right. So attach that to your oxygen slash pretend your air pretend oxygen, nice and tight. <clears throat> Actually, this time I'm going to show you how to turn it on. All right, I'm going to turn it on. Give it a ten. Put this to a hundred. Uh, there is stuff coming out. Yep. Bubbles and mist. I can see the mist or not. It's misting. Mist, okay. Put it. So there's mist, okay? So that works. Okay, got that. So then um, we're going to hook up our tubing. Once again, this is the corrugated tubing. Must use big corrugated tubing. Don't want to um, in any way occlude your tubing. You're working with water and say there's condensation involved or something and it would occlude the small tubing that you normally oxygen tubing you would block it up and it would not deliver oxygen to your patient that'd be very bad so use big fat corrugated corrugated tubing so i'm gonna try to hook up here so you can see it's kind of hard but there you go hook that up um this has a drainage bag one more time especially when you're heating the air um <clears throat> you don't want to have any foreign anything um, any water, even sterile water, which we used in there, um, which I didn't, I filled it before. Normally be filled up to the top, but I filled it before, so, in the tap water, but it'd be sterile medical water. Um, you don't want that getting into their airway at all. So the drainage bag um, will sit down low, and so when the water condenses, um, it'll go to the drainage, drainage bag, um, gravity, and then the um, water droplets that are small enough to remain um, suspended in the gas um, will make it to the patient. Um, so that's that, and then you're going to hook up your tubing to the trach collar, like so. Now, at first, I actually thought to myself, 